What is up, YouTube? I am the original Renaissance man, Devon Da Vinci, and I'm going to be reacting to something that not necessarily I've already reacted to, but um, I've reacted to this person's videos before. This is Sorrow TV. He's the person that does all the videos related to uh, Reddit, or at least his more popular ones tend to be related towards Reddit. And right now I'm going to be looking at something called The Nice Guys. Ah, yes, everybody knows about The Nice Guys. The people that pretend to be about being gentlemanly and chivalrous and things like that. But then as soon as they get rejected or something like that, then that's when their true colors come out. And they show all they, they wanted was sex and your ass and your butt. But uh, anyway, that is a story for later because I'm going to get into this and give you guys some commentary and some interesting stories and hopefully some advice for any nice guys that are in the audience right now and people that identify themselves as nice guys so stay tuned for that after the video is over or I might pause it if I see something that uh, piques my interest let's go ahead and jump into it hi sorry for randomly messaging you but you look as amazing as the amazing spider-man and I'm looking for long-term, loyal, serious relationship. And it said you were single, so I randomly messaged you. Sorry if I'm cheesy. <laughs> Sorry, I have a really awesome boyfriend, actually. Good for you, kid. Don't gotta rub it in my face, you d- uh. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Typical nice guy. I'll say it again. Yeah, that that right there is the definition of nice guy. So if you guys didn't have any idea, there you go. Um, first of all, referring to a girl as some type of pop culture reference in relate like relates to superheroes and shit, usually not going to fly unless you meet her in an area where superheroes are present, like Comic Con or some shit. It probably ain't going to fly with her. Um, don't come off so creepy. It's kind of weird when you approach a girl and talk about like lifetime loyal relationships and everything else and you have no idea what she's like or who she's like i mean if there's any nice guys in the audience right now just remember this women are humans women are humans they're not some weird creature that like that uh, lives life differently if chances are if a, if a random girl that you didn't weren't interested in approached you and said hey i can see us having a, a wonderful life together and i just want loyal relationships and i will treat you greater than anything chances are you'll look at them kind of weird and get kind of creeped out and move away so um the same thing you want somebody to say to you probably best to go ahead and say that to them like it's it's not that tough let's jump back into it if anyone hurts a girl emotionally or physically, I'm gonna have to go Rocky Balboa. Fictional boxer. On them. We look. <laughs> y'all got Joe Frazier, but y'all racist bastards put up a, a statue of a fictional character. <laughs> Anybody that don't get that, go check out my uh, uh, Bill Burr Philly incident. It, it's hilarious. Um, yeah. That goes with white knights too. White knights are just like nice guys. So much like a couple here. <laughs> a couple of besties. Uh, Why would anyone hurts. drink or do drugs? I get high off respecting women. Bro, get the fuck out of here. What is your emergency? Please help. Some men broke into my home. Not all men are like that. I would do that breaking news girls actually love nice guys it's just that you're not as nice a guy as you think you are yeah i find this really hard to believe as every time i'm interested in a girl she ends up with an asshole and i end up friend zoned or worse imagine being the exact type of guy a post was aimed at but somehow <laughs> remaining blissfully unaware of that fact if you're into bad boys swipe left because I am a good boy. Yes, you will. I'm that type that will Maybe the a dog blanket made that on a drunk me. bitch and not smash. Oh, what a... One, one, one second, I, I just noticed what this said. I'm that type that will put a blanket on a drunk bitch and not smash. Okay, first of all, why are you calling her a bitch? I mean, if you're trying to be chivalrous, this isn't the way to start it. And, um... 
the fuck are you doing in a situation where you, where you put a blanket on a drunk chick? Uh, unless it's like your sister or something, then what are like? How are you in the same area that she sleeps in? Um, third, like, uh, why is this something that you would brag about? She's drunk. You probably shouldn't be smashing drunk chicks because they're not in the best frame of mind to make. This, okay, moving on. Whatever. She deserves better. Treat her right, you fucking asshole. Sad to see an ungrateful fuck getting that little cutie while I'm still a virgin at 22. Hmm. The world is a strange and unfair place. Still jerked off. <laughs> I've seen it with my own eyes. Women are very shallow. I'm short, ugly, and broke, comment. so I don't date. That's, that's but my good-looking friends get the hottest women, and the most women. Gee, I wonder why. How many short, ugly, broke women have you asked out? Fair question. Why would I do that? <laughs> I wish I had a girlfriend. <laughs> God, I hate okay. women. So all you nice guys okay. out there, just remember, you're never stuck in the friend zone if you value having women as friends. Spoken like a person. I find in the zone. this really hard to believe. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into this because I got a lot of stuff that I got to unpack. Um, the whole nice guys thing. Um, they have tainted the term nice guys so bad that now we have to call people that actually do value like women another name. I say we call them good guys. Ignore the fact that that also is tied with the Chucky series, but I mean, it works for now, so we can go ahead and use that. Um Usually, people that consider themselves nice guys tend to always, like, go after the popular, sexy, cute, like, type women that have nothing in common with them. And it's not too hard to understand why she keeps turning you away. Like I said, if somebody has zero interest in you, chances are when you first approach them, there's going to be some type of... Like, in order for them to want to talk to you, they have to be attracted to something about you. Whether it's the way you carry yourself, the way you talk, the way you look, the clothes you wear, the way you smell, something. They have to have something that attaches themselves to you. If some random person that you have no interest in walked up to you and asked you to for a date or anything like that, chances are you'll probably turn them down because attraction is the first phase of any type of relationship. I don't care what anybody says. There has to be some level of attraction in order for there to be a relationship. Uh, also, usually people that consider themselves nice guys tend to be young because they only tend to go after girls that are like cute and things like that. And those girls usually want people that I guess they would consider bad, but that's just inexperience. Girls, just like men, girls don't know what they want when they're young. Or most girls, I'm going to say most girls because there are some girls that know what they want. But um, nice guys for damn sure don't know what they want yet. <laughs> they just want someone that could appeal to like their sexual needs but they aren't even thinking about anything else like unless you're fucking 24 hours a day and yes that's i don't care what anybody brags you're not having sex 24 hours a goddamn day you're gonna have to do something else for the rest of the day and when you're not fucking y'all ain't gonna have anything in common nothing it's gonna be the most boring relationship you ever had in your fucking life <laughs> so um yeah like just make sure that you just present yourself and uh, put yourself out there. Like, whatever you're is about, like, whatever you're about, make sure you get that across. Like, don't pretend to be something you're not because some people will be like, oh, well, I'll just be a bad boy. And first of all, if you're not a bad boy, a girl can tell when you're faking that shit. So don't sit here and try to be something you're not. And second of all, if you do fake it and y'all do get in a relationship, are you planning on faking it the entire relationship? Because at some point, you have to show her stuff that you're actually interested in. And if she finds out that you're not the person that she like felt attracted to, then there's a chance that the relationship will fall apart. Um, don't worry about losing your virginity or anything like that. Like I said, I'm, I was a real late bloomer. Like, I already told you guys that I was one of them people that grew up like really religious and... I was like the type that was, oh, no sex before marriage. 
Well, what I didn't tell you guys was even after that, after I got over that idea, I still had this idea like, oh, well, I can't have sex or anything until I'm in a position where I can take care of the responsibilities of sex. So if I have a kid or anything like that, I should be in a position where if something happened, I should just be able to take care of it. Like I, I'm not going to have sex if I'm not ready for what the consequences can bring. And because of that way of thinking, uh, like I was, I was late. I was like 25 when I lost my virginity. <laughs> like I know that like Tyrone Magnus, he's like, I'm 22 and stuff. I was 25. So I beat him by a couple years. So don't sit here and try to rush anything. Um, focus on trying to be the best person that you can be and improve yourself because um, the biggest thing that attract women is confidence. You can see the biggest, ugliest, fucking grease face looking motherfucker in the world, but they can probably still get a girl if they carry themselves the right way. Confidence is the biggest thing that you can have going for you. So the way to try to get confidence is to have, make sure you love what you do. Make sure you, you got to love yourself. That's the bottom line. In order to have confidence, you have to be in love with who you are and what you what you can present. Like I know goddamn well what I plan on being in the future. So if you want to get on the train and you know get go down that that road with me, then by all means, let's go. But if not, then you just missing out. Like you have to present yourself like I'm the shit. <laughs> I don't give a damn if you don't see that yet. I am the shit. <laughs> and, you know, it might not work all the time because, I mean, let's be real. Talking to girls, it's like probably has like a 30% chance of it working usually. But just because you get shot down, you, that doesn't mean you give up. That doesn't mean, oh, well, all girls are after bad guys or anything like that. That just means that you haven't found the right girl yet. I don't think people understand just how many women there are in the world and how many of them or have the similar interest to you like it's not tough to find that i mean depending on what area you might be in or like the culture around you you might find it hard if you're not like a fan of that culture so you might have to go somewhere else maybe but usually you might find a, a hidden gem somewhere and in, in that culture that might be into the same stuff that you're into um yeah if you guys have any questions uh, be sure to leave comments down below. I would like to do something for this channel and make some videos where I give advice for anybody that might have questions. Um, whether you want to be anonymous or whatever, just let me know. Just leave it in the comment section down below. And I can try to give you some uh, advice from like my life <laughs> or at least examples from my life. And if not, then I can give you some examples that I've noticed other people have said. Um, that's pretty much it. Like, like I said, if you have any questions, go ahead and send them to me. I want to try to you know give you guys advice and things like that and you know if i give you the right advice or if i give you some advice that don't work out either way you're learning something and i think i give good advice god damn it <laughs> so let's go ahead and move on um i got another video i'm gonna react to um so hopefully i'll see you guys there i am the original renaissance man devon da vinci up oh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video deuces